You're watching Soulful Discussions. All right, so hi, how are you today? I'm good, thank you so much. How are you? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. Um, how did you and I meet today? Um, I... Oh, I think your coffee. You wanna grab that real quick? I don't want you. I wanted to pour all out. I need that coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good catch, that was a good catch. Right, there it so is. Uh, so how did we meet today? I just got out of my car, uh -huh. walking towards the beach, mm -hmm. and then um, I said, hey, hello, can uh -huh. you speak to you for a moment? Yep. And uh, I'd like to do an interview. Uh -huh. It's gonna take 10 minutes, do you have time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and here we are. And what? And so, what were? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what were your thoughts like when I first like approached you in terms of uh, coming up? Did you feel my approach was good? Was it bad? How'd you feel about it? It was good. It okay. Was friendly. It didn't scare me at all. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, so, what did I tell you? The topics we're gonna be at. What are we talking about? Um, you said it is going to be about uh, soul. <laughs> yes. Um. Like how are are you open to trying new things? New yes, new Absolutely. experiences. I was like, okay, that sounds interesting. Nice. Let's connect the dots now. Uh, so, so let me ask you this: Like, do you consider yourself to be somebody who is like open to trying new things? Do you tend to think about it? What what what's usually your way to try something new? How do you go about? Mm -hmm. it? I usually like to try something new, and okay. if I don't try something new for a while, my body starts reacting. Oh, wow. It's like, oh, life is a little boring. <laughs> Waking up to the same day every day, yeah, different location, different time, same day. Yeah, exactly. So, so it, it feels... Like, uh, it gets the juices flowing yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. Like, yeah. I, I hear from a lot of people, it's great for, like, if you're somebody who's a creative, uh -huh. um, it's great with that because it gives you ideas and stuff for, like, trying new things. So, um, what, what do you think was, like, the craziest thing that you ever tried? Like in terms of, was it a food? Was it a activity? Um, what was the craziest thing? That you for did? me, I'd say um, my life okay. and the choices that I did oh, okay. <laughs> made in my life. <laughs> like uh, I was in my early twenties when I said, "Okay, I've lived in this country enough. Let's try new things. The world is bigger than this." And then I moved to another country, uh -huh. uh, joined school there so I could get a visa. There you go. <laughs> And then from there, instead of going back, I jumped to another country, knowing no one, starting all over from scratch. Uh, I think I was around like 25 back wow. then. And then uh, when I was 27, wow. I said, okay, let's go to America now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so it's like starting in a new country, before. new continent, yeah. knowing no one, starting over. Because when you move to another country, yeah. the schools that you um, went, they may not mean anything. Yeah. So yeah. it's like starting a new life from scratch all I've heard that. over. People so who come from another country, you may have studied something yeah. when you come here. The culture is different, different. everything Absolutely. is different. So that getting used to it, new wives, new people, yeah. new location, new climate, everything Absolutely. is new. So that probably uh, is the thing that I was doing over and over yeah, and it's like amazing. okay let's start from scratch i remember when i was moving to america uh -huh. i was so scared yeah. it was this was my dream to be here yeah. but it was still like the other side of the world for me i'm from turkey you know it yes everybody is there and uh, it takes like 14 hours to fly yeah. actually it takes almost 20 hours in total from me leaving home here yeah. to reaching my home in turkey well, it takes like stop, 25 right? Um, I have a stop in Istanbul and then I go flo fly again. Uh, so when it's morning in here, it's night in my home. Yes. It's hard to speak, communicate. I just have like three hours of the frame that I can speak. So it was a little bit scary decision for Absolutely. me. I remember like being scared and having that, like I don't want to say panic attack, like that, but that flashes uh, in the airplane and I was like okay if you don't jump in the water how are you gonna learn how to swim you just know. like go if you fail they're gonna go I, back I home anyways that that's, that's actually perfect for like people who are afraid to try new things yeah like a lot of times we'll hold ourselves back because we, we see a comfort zone and we're like well, I'm used to this and I know nothing's gonna happen I don't know what'll happen out there so I'm gonna stay here and yeah you end up missing out on like a lot of things and then when the time passes you're like oh damn i wish i tried that i mean because you never know where it leads to like where yeah. it's gonna go so that's that's absolutely amazing and you're actually the second um lady who i interviewed who said the same thing like 
she goes on trips all the time and just by herself. Like, yeah. places, and I'm like, that's, that's amazing. That's like, good. I haven't been able to do that yet <laughs> by myself. I usually go with somebody um, just because it's like a more comfort level, but... I, I like also, it's that. fun to have someone else around, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but sometimes when you go somewhere alone, yeah, yeah. you start becoming friends with yourself. So you're like actually a two person, you start speaking and then you start answering. Okay. You're just adapting, <laughs> being Absolutely. lonely. Uh, so let me ask you this um, in terms of like anxiety, do you mm -hmm. ever deal with anxiety? If you do, do you have any coping mechanisms? Uh, I actually did have a period in my life that I dealt with panic attacks. Oh, wow. okay. uh, I didn't know at first what it was. Yeah. Uh, it was the last year of my Budapest life and like the first year of my Malta because after Budapest I went to Malta and okay. lived there for two years. Um, I remember like all of a sudden my heart was beating so much. I was a little like shaky. Uh -huh. When I look out from outside, I was not shaking, but inside I was like shaking yeah. like crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was unable to breathe a lot. Uh, I didn't understand what was happening actually. Yeah. I was thinking like, okay, maybe like I'm having some kind of anxiety, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which was like yeah. a panic attack. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and um, I remember one day in Malta, I was in my bed and it started coming again. I said, okay, you know what, what's gonna happen? The worst case scenario, I'll die here in my bed yeah. and there's nothing I can do about yeah, it. Fine. So like, yeah, let's, let's not worry about it. If I survive the morning, I will wake I'm up fine. and <laughs> exactly, <laughs> if I die, okay, let's at least make peace with that. And uh, I started calming down a little bit. Then I find the best solution and it's gonna be a little cliche, but uh -huh. meditation. When you are able to control your thoughts yep. and not suppress them, but in a way that, that disattach yourself oh. from them yep. and then just watch them flowing yeah. and you are not them. They're just thoughts. Absolutely. It's not you. It's happening to you or yep. it's happening by you in your life. Exactly. You have so, control yeah. situations and, and like you said, the meditation, breathing, breathing. controlling your breathing exactly. because a lot of times when we let our breathing go out of control, mm -hmm. that's when we start to really feel that. Yeah. Like controlling that, and literally having a number to count to, to like be able to help out with that is usually yeah. really great. That actually is the best. Like when you inhale for, I don't know, four seconds, hold yeah. it in for four, exhale for four, hold for four. When you start focusing on that, four, 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 four. four, four. Exactly, then your blood pressure starts yeah. coming to normal. That's so actually how I was able to get rid of it almost altogether. Yeah, like, I don't ever remember when I had that I really last like time. That. I really like that. <laughs> Thank right, you. Cool. So let me ask you these questions now. Let's get into these. Um, what are your thoughts about your food? How do you feel about your food? Good, because my husband uh -huh. feels good about them. Okay. Well, your yes. oh, okay. Has he ever given you compliments? Like he compliments you on your food? Yes. Okay. Have you ever received compliments outside of your husband? Anybody yeah. Else ever know this? Yeah. Okay. What was the feeling, or like, how did you feel in the moment when somebody gave you a compliment about that? At first, I was like, "This really, <laughs> really." <laughs> I never thought. Like I never. Shock? I didn't even like. It was like a shock? unexpected okay. like why okay. would you like and that whole body and all the limbs and everything like it's an area that I didn't even like think a lot of uh -huh. and it was like a little weird to me yeah. at first I was like okay and I'm a water sign so oh, if you are you... something Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you are something yeah. I'd like to try what you are uh, no anyway, so I start um like becoming more like yeah. you so just exactly just exactly. like water if you pour it in a cup it's yep. gonna take the shape of the cup yep. so uh, I like that so I basically accepted that uh, mindset and idea I was like okay let's enjoy with that idea a little bit that how do you want to see it for example <laughs> I started asking what color do you want me to paint them when right. I go to the pedicure so, he, like, so I started he'll, he'll, like, put input into that. Yeah, sometimes he says red and I, I do an opposite if I'm mad at him. That's <laughs> yeah, so the same with my girlfriend. Like, I take my girlfriend to pedicures probably every two to three weeks. Yeah. So, like, um, and usually she'll ask me, like, what color do you want me to get? And I think it's the same for her. If she gets mad at me, she's like, I'm just getting whatever I want to get. Like, it's, it's, you're not, your opinion doesn't matter anymore after that. Yeah. So, absolutely. Um, let me ask you this. In terms of compliments you receive throughout your life, 
Mm-hmm. Is there a certain compliment that when you look at that compliment, you're like, man, that really made my day. That really makes me feel good. Um, it usually is not about the feet. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay. Compliment. It doesn't even have to be a physical when, compliment. When someone tells me that I made a change in their day, in oh, a positive way, right. like, oh my God, you just made my day. Yeah. Oh my God, thank you so much. I needed to hear that. Yeah. When I have that, yeah. I realize that I spark a light not by knowingly, hey, this is your life. No, I'm just being myself. And then it actually gives something good to someone else. So when they say thank you, it yeah. really helped. That's the best compliment for yeah. me, to be honest. I love, I love yeah. that because for me, it's energy. When somebody tells me that they like my energy, yeah. I'm like, because I don't try. I'm not trying to be anything. I'm You're just, just like, being I'm yourself. So when somebody says that, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so how often do you get pedicures? Um... I have a very busy schedule, so I'm trying like every three weeks, okay, but sometimes, no, because I had a bad experience with that, yes. Um, I was not told when I first started doing gels, uh, I was not told that I should like rest it sometimes, and uh, I started having a bad kind of nail, my nail starting, started um, going bad, and I was scared that it would be permanent. I just discovered this dazzle dry thing i don't know if you've yeah, heard of it that's a good one, yeah, that's a good one. It, it's yeah. good for like a month uh, or three weeks so i'm good with that not my hands yeah, yeah. my hands i'm doing <laughs> like, <laughs> I, do it I get them together but yeah. like after a week i start doing my hands or it okay. starts going off <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good, man. Um, let me ask you this have you ever heard of a medical pedicure before no okay. oh actually i have in turkey okay. i actually i even got it done okay and they um, ordered this special pad for me so I could like put it in. Yes. Yes, yes. I But it was like a long time ago, maybe like four or five years ago. Yeah, so, and, and they, so they do that as well. So they, they get you form fitting or uh -huh. that fit just your feet. Um, and they also do like, they can give you like a pedicure. It's, it's a medical type pedicure. It's not like, uh, you know, colors and all that stuff. But what they'll do is like make sure your toenails are correct. Yeah. No it's fungus, healthy. No, exactly. Yeah. None of that stuff. And what they'll do is, yeah. So they make it look healthy, as healthy as possible. Um, what would your thoughts be on seeing somebody like that who could give you like more information about your feet, like tell you what's going on there, like if there was something wrong? How would you feel about when that? When I see it clean, I think immediately, okay, this person is aware of every part of their life, yeah. taking <laughs> care of every part of their life, part. healthy. And uh, I also think when you take care of all the parts in your body and what you are wearing, it kind of changes your vibration and frequency as well because everything energetically and also physically yeah, it's matching actually what you are is your energy soul, right? exactly <laughs> so it gives me an idea about how together how yeah. holistic they are I basically like I like that. That's really good. Um, in terms of shoes mm -hmm. you can only wear one type of shoe like a style or a brand for the rest of your life you couldn't pick anything else what would it be if it's possible, I would choose barefoot. Oh, <laughs> yes, I'd like to be connected with nature if it's going to be my you entire life. Me into my next question. My next question is how often do you go barefoot? So. But barefoot has a bad side. You need to take really good care you of your feet. Other way, it is going to get a little bit hard on the skin. Yep, yeah. So that skin starts to change. Hard yeah. Now, so that's why you need to like give it that TLC and all that stuff. But how often do you go barefoot? Um. Uh, every time I can, to be honest, every time I hit on the beach, Absolutely. probably I'm gonna like put it in my like, feet in the, the right ocean now. right now. Yeah, I like that. But I also started um, seeing a lot of things about this, like the, the shoes that we're wearing. Yeah. They're all going like this. Correct. And there is a brand, I'm sure there are more brands yeah. that are more like square. Yeah. Actually, our feet has to be like that. Like that. But um, all of our lives, we have been wearing like this so it actually changes i also uh, get platus education uh -huh. those toes and those muscles are actually affecting all oh, the way under. up to the back yeah. so when you do this when yeah. you wear um correct shoes correct. and if you allow your feet to be a little more square yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually a lot healthier on your yes. back so i started digging more into that uh, they have some tools that they're helping to fix what you have already have and they are giving so like pretty shoes actually it looks a little bit different than their yeah. usual yeah. 
so that's why I'm a little skeptic about it. <laughs> should I or should I not? But I'm thinking of getting and trying. Tell me they were good. Yeah, like, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure they're. I interviewed one lady. She said she she will only wear those type of shoes now. If it's walking, running. She won't wear anything else. She said because uh, they do a lot of information in terms of looking at your foot and uh -huh. your specific foot and finding out like what where does it have to be and you can pick like like what type of insole you want and like what all kinds of different uh, customizations. So, I think you yeah. should look into that. that should be cool. I, I am uh, yeah. very close to get ordering some and try it out and see how it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he he is uh, into health like okay. me. Like let's be really healthy, let's be yeah, aware yeah. of everything. Absolutely. So when uh, he saw that, he was like, "Okay, let's get a yeah, couple yeah, to ourselves." Nice. Okay, yeah. let's try. <laughs> Uh, yes, you can, okay. but it is not in the best shape, so I'm not sure. No I'm not sure. No <laughs> it has been over four weeks. Okay. I have my pedicure in like three days. Okay. No <laughs> We're not judging you right now. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and then if you can, you can just take your shoes off and leave your socks on for now. Are you sure? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And then, cool, let me have you just sit, sit back here. Cool. And then let me, if you put your feet down flat, cool. It looks like, okay, tell me if I'm correct or not. Does your, is your big toe longer? I think so, yeah. Okay, so you know that there's different types of toe lines. I don't know if you've ever heard yes. of that before. Okay, so if your bigger toe is longer, that's called an Egyptian toe alignment. If your second toe is longer, it's called a Greek toe. If the first three toes are about the same size, it's called a Roman toe alignment. So I don't know if you've known that before, but... Uh, no, I haven't. That's a little information for you today, absolutely. Cool. All right, I'm, I'm trying to understand if I'm e from Egypt or Greece. I, I, I know my about. jeans are from Greece, 70%. Yeah, 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 no. Okay, put your feet out straight like this. That it's completely yeah, straight? Yeah, you can put them out straight first and like this. Okay, cool. And your feet are more on the long side, I would say, right? Yeah, okay. narrow and long. Very narrow and long, absolutely. Okay, you can take your socks off now. All right, cool. And then, what size shoe do you wear? Uh, it changes. Hold on, let me see. This is half number bigger. Let's see if I can guess. Is it like it's a like nine? Nine and a half? No, I'm six one. Okay. So you can ten? try. Yes, ten, ten and a half. And a half? Yeah. Okay, my girlfriend wears a, a twelve, so it's like. Okay. Yes, <laughs> these are eleven, so I'm really comfortable in these. Okay. Uh, I have a gap uh, in the front, but at least my feet are a little bit comfortable to the side. I prefer to do that. I'll get mm -hmm. a bigger size just so that my feet are not like cramped up yeah. together. Like it's always good. Okay, let's put them down flat again. Let's take a look. Okay. And As you can see, it has been four weeks. <laughs> Thank you. And the reason I was surprised when they like my feet is because of this guy here. You see that? It goes underneath this one. And it's the exact same with my dad's. Oh, so you think that's a genetic thing then? It is. My dad, they, my dad always makes you. I never needed a DNA taste with you. <laughs> I just look at your feet. <laughs> It's the right. same feet, same toe. That's amazing. This is underneath. <laughs> All, right, cool. All right, let's go back out like this again. All right, cool. Oh, we'll put them close together. Okay. Cool. All right, let me ask you this. What are your thoughts? How are you feeling right now? We started talking about 18 minutes ago. Okay. We're going through all this. What are your thoughts? How do you feel about the experience? I'm having fun. You having fun? Yes, it's, it's a nice chat we're having. Yes, yes. It's not something that uh, someone asks me. Yeah, yeah, every day. All of a sudden, every day, yeah. Yeah, you can scratch that off the bucket list. Absolutely. Yep. Um, cool. Leave your feet out. We're going to go through a couple more exercises. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can bend them if you like. Okay. That's more comfortable. Um, cool. But what do you know about reflexology? What are your, what did you learn about reflexology? Um, I... I'm a little bit familiar, but not a lot. So I'd be a good student and listen to you. I'll give you the info about that. But like, you kind of discussed some of it earlier when you were talking about like the way your toes are lying, like and mm -hmm. if they're too tight, how it can like have an impact yeah. back here. So reflexology is all about the different pressure points we have in our hands and mm -hmm. our feet. Those yeah. uh, pressure points, they connect to different parts of our body. So like, when you go get a massage, you do acupuncture, you do acupressure, it'll alleviate tension to different parts of your body just by doing um, have you ever had any experiences going to get a massage like that, a reflexology massage? Yes, I even uh, had this reflexology. Um, the mat? Not the mat, okay. the flip flops. The flip flops? I got it from Chinatown actually in San Francisco. Okay. And when I put them on, it has like the, let's say that this is. Yeah, yeah. 
This is the flip flop. Uh -huh. It has all the dots. Oh, They're like bumpy. Correct. But when you step on them, they go back a little bit and even all those like bumps yeah. has little bumps on them yes. so when i put them on at first i'm like it Look feels like happening. it's hurting yes. but then i think it hits the right spot so i'm like oh. <laughs> exactly and so it helps a lot that mat that i'm talking about is the, the, same the exact, exact same thing. thing yeah but you can like have it at home in front of you if you're watching tv and just like putting your put, feet on or whatever. nice really nice good. absolutely so uh, usually when we get to this portion of the interview we usually like to talk about sensitivity uh-huh how ticklish do you tend to Normally, I am extremely ticklish. Okay. Even when someone comes like this, approaching to oh, my feet, I'm like, oh, oh no, 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 no. Yes, it's completely psychological. But um, the experiences that I had uh -huh. with my husband, uh -huh. there is a that sweet spot that tickling sensation can go to a nice feeling. Oh, okay. So it That's actually... Good. Yes, it actually is an extreme pleasure that is feeling ticklish. It almost feels like that. So when he touches uh -huh. my feet underneath my feet, uh -huh. normally I would be ticklish. But if I switch something in my mind, it's like it's actually an extreme pleasure. Just focus on the pleasure, like and then it starts feeling good actually, instead of being like oh ticklish so much. Okay, so here's what I want to know. You said you, you tend to be a little bit ticklish. Um, Quick, you, Not can, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Can we Thanks for that. Okay. Okay. I have a tool to use. Ooh, is it a feather? Uh, no, it's not a feather. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually have a brush. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's put your feet on straight. And then, so what I want you to tell me is the area you feel it in the most. Okay. And then which foot is most sensitive. Okay. All right, so let's go with your right first. One, two, three. Okay. And then where do you feel this at the most? Is it middle? The bottom? middle towards so, like, right, right here. Okay. Yeah. A little bit bottom of the arch. Bit, like right in there. Yes. Okay, let's try your left. All right. Okay. Tell me if you feel this one. One, two, three. And yes. Yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. You already knew it. Because you started moving before I even did it. So. I didn't know I knew it. Okay. I think it was com completely subconscious. Side. Yeah. So, like, what would you say the skill is? Like, on a scale of one out of ten, ten being the most sensitive, what do you have over here? On the right um, side? We can say seven and eight. Seven and eight. Okay. Here's what I want you to try for me. I want you to wiggle your toes while I'm doing I want you to tell me if you feel it more or less. All right, you feel it more or less. Less. You know why? No. Kind of what we talked about a little bit earlier. Like Reflexology? Kind of, yeah, so like you have all these different pressure points, right? They're all connected back, right? Your your brain is like the control center. So like you're telling your feet to do something. So like it's, it's kind of like a distraction. You don't really yeah. like pay attention so much to this. You put more pay attention to me wiggle. But also like you're applying like energy I'm applying energy so it cancels out. So that's a little trick for you. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I Let's like try that. here. This was the more sensitive side. Yes. Right? And is it less? Less sensitive. Actually, yes. I always, I always like to show that. No, it right. would be like two, three, or maybe one, two. Oh, there it is. Cool. I'm going to have you do a couple exercises with your yes. feet. Um, it's just such the dexterity flexibility you have, okay? Let me have you bend your toes, make a fist. So make you feel pain or discomfort when you're doing that. No. Easy to do? Yeah. Okay, relax. Spread your toes. Tell me if you feel pain in this. Easy? Easy. Okay. Go I mean, a little bit the, parts that, the parts that I can do easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you often do any of these like movements when you're home? I used to. Okay. do a lot for like um eight months straight yeah. i haven't been doing anything that's Try why that i'm having can. cramps a little bit yeah, especially yeah, yeah. on this side yeah try to do that as much as you can i'm trying to find my in I'm this fine. one this too seems to be best friends and not <laughs> yeah, now yeah, like we're this room. one i can't yeah, yeah, yeah. i think i need some tools for that <laughs> you know they have the ones that you can put on your feet that like stretch your feet out like yeah I, I couldn't find a good one. Okay. That usually it takes a long time to put them in. <laughs> it's like, All right, last thing I'm gonna have you do is just wiggle your toes for about ten seconds. Tell me if you feel pain, discomfort, cramping, anything like that happening after you're doing it for a while. No. Does it feel pretty easy. Let's see. Okay. Cool. All right. Last thing I'm gonna have you do. This is something you can do at home that can help out with like loosening up some of those muscles you have. If you take a golf ball or a tennis ball, mm -hmm. I have a golf ball for right now. But what you do is you just roll your foot across it, uh -huh. back to front. You'll feel it loosen it up. So here, I'm gonna have you try that real quick. Let's try it with the right foot first, and just tell me what you feel. Do I need to get up for that? No, no, no. You can sit down. You can, you can do it. How do you? How are you feeling? What does it feel like to you? 
It feels like a massage. Okay, that's what it's supposed to be. I like it, yeah. So like, yeah. That's a trick for you. But I think it's a little bit small for my big arch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my my feet is a little bit too archy. You can try a tennis ball if you like, because that might yeah. be a little bit better for you. Just Do, you have they have like this white uh, massage balls uh -huh. for the feet. I have I have that at home, but I'm using for my back more than my feet. <laughs> to be honest. Cool. But, you said but I like it. Like it. Massage, it feels like it's yes. Up those and it feels like it, someone right? is like doing this kind of massage to Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Right that's what I always tell people, if you can't go out and get a massage, get yourself a, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, let's get a picture of that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, get yourself a golf ball or a tennis ball. It definitely helps. <laughs> cool. All right. So, let's wrap up the interview. Uh, in terms of my approach, when I came up to you, I asked you to do the interview. What were your thoughts about my approach? Was it good, bad? How'd you feel? It was good. Very friendly. Very calm. And uh, the subject is interesting. You uh, ask it pretty smooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried. To, I tried to make sure, and I don't know if you noticed too. I tried to stay a distance away from you while yes. asking. Yeah, because you're like, I know that sometimes approaching people can be a little bit like it's like shocking and jarring. Yeah, yeah. So I tried to like ease up with it a little bit. So yeah, it was good. Uh, <laughs> and I'm glad you did. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in terms of the interview, start to finish, could you see how everything was going along in the line? Did it make sense to you? Did you learn anything new? Yes, I've learned uh, new things, and at the same time, it was pretty smooth. It was very natural, to I be like honest. That. I like that. It was not like, hey, let's uh, check all these from the checkbox. <laughs> it was not like that. It was more like a conversation than interview. And that's why I tried basically. to turn it into. That's why I didn't yeah. have my channel Soulful Discussions because of that very reason. I wanted to be. We're just having a talk. Like, we're just exactly. Talking. We're just chatting like, on a like, subject. <laughs> um, in terms of something you could say to my channel. Maybe it's something you learned through life. Maybe it's some uh, something that somebody said to you that like stuck with you. Is there anything you can say to the channel that could be motivational to them? Um, I think the fact that you are drawing attention to trying something new mm -hmm. and that it includes a little bit science in it. For me, the reflexology is a science that people need to be more aware of aware of their body what our body is capable of actually and yep. what we need these are so little things that we yep. can do throughout the days and throughout our lives that is going to make big differences, big differences so you are just like planting those seeds try, yeah. <laughs> and people in a good way very friendly way yeah. and um, very fun way to be honest nice. Um, that inspires me a lot, and I think it inspires a lot of people. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for saying yes to the interview. <laughs> of All course. Right, cool. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you stopping to do this interview with us. All right. And we hope that you have a great day. Thank you. All right. <laughs>